If you love mathematics, then the only thing that you can become is a teacher or a professor. So that's what society tells the students who actually love or are passionate about mathematics. But what if I told you that some of the most fascinating careers in the world stem from mathematics? And if you are a mathematician or looking to become one, then the world awaits you with some of the most lucrative yet fascinating and interesting career choices. So hello everyone, my name is Samir Prakash and in this video we are going to talk about careers related to mathematics, be it academia or industry. The most common myth that the people have, especially in India or uh, nearby places, that you cannot do anything in industry if you are pursuing mathematics. So let's tune in and see what all things we have and uh, stay tuned till the end because I'm going to show the placement data uh, from one of the top most maths related colleges of India and you will be shocked to see the salaries that are being offered to people who have pursued mathematics. So let's start careers in mathematics, PhD or a job. So to start with, what we have is PhD. Of course, uh, what the typical route that you can pursue is a bachelor's, then a master's, then a PhD. PhD is a doctorate uh, degree, which means you are basically a qualified scientist or a mathematician. And after your bachelor's and master's, or sometimes from after a bachelor's course itself, you can pursue PhD across the world in top research universities such as Harvard, Cornell, Brown universities, and so on and so forth. Okay, there are very good places in the world to pursue, to do good mathematics, including India as well. Some of the most renowned institutes include ISC Bangalore, Indian Statistical Institute, Kolkata, Chennai Mathematical Institute, CMI, and Iser, Snizer, so on and so forth. What you can typically do other than that as well, but before that, we're going to look at the PhD stipends that are being offered. For example, in Princeton, you will receive a monthly average stipend of $4,400. Okay, that's a pretty good stipend for a PhD student. Um, and you can comfortably live in the US with $400 or $4,000 or $4,400. For example, if you look at MIT, Rutgers, uh, Utah, Minnesota, those universities as well, the average uh, is minimum, you know, is $2,000 per month, which is pretty good. If you see at uh, UTD, which is Texas, Dallas, right? And, uh, you know, at top most places across the world in the US, the stipend goes up and it's pretty decent. Now, for instance, if we see that you don't want to pursue PhD, you want to switch to industry, do some jobs, work in applications, right? So what you can do is there are jobs which have a dedicated research, right? That pays more than 20 lakhs per year annum as well, right? And the companies involved, of course, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Meta, Netflix, so on and so forth. So what do they typically do is they have their own research labs as well. Uh, many of them, these companies work in uh, actively AI nowadays. Yeah, it's very obvious. People are working in machine learning, data science, deep tech research, right? So to conduct, to pursue all these things, to carry out such attempts, you know, mathematicians, AI researchers, ML scientists, machine learning scientists, computer scientists, people like that are needed. And typically all of them have a common uh, background in mathematics, right? So as you can see, mathematicians can typically get employed at these universities, at these companies as research scientists or in different various departments as well. And the salaries are pretty decent as well. Now, the next thing is applied mathematics, which is finance or related to quants, quantitative mathematics, okay? That uh, overlaps with economics, finance, and couple of other things which I'm going to talk about soon. So there are two major job profiles you can go for in applied mathematics or finance. Number one is investment banking. Number two is analyst. And the companies that you will be employed, some of them are the topmost companies, JP Morgan Chase, JPMC, as famously known, 
Goldman Sachs, American Express, right? So these are some of the top most companies that pays very well across the world, right? And these are very famous as well in finance related domains. So you can get a job at these companies as well after your master's or a PhD course. Then you are uh, having lots of other fields which need deep mathematical background like I discussed, the AI related companies like ChatGPT, OpenAI, Meta, Meta AI. Uh, nowadays you have AI with almost every other big company. You have uh, with uh, Facebook, uh, which is Meta. You have with Google, Microsoft, Apple, the company you name it, they have their AI division as well, right? And uh, when they have their AI or deep tech department, then of course there will be lots of mathematicians working over there for sure, right? And also you uh, see the placement statistics of one of the top most college, which is CMI, uh, Chennai Mathematical Institute, Chennai, right? So for instance, I can also bring this up that recently we are hearing news about, you know, uh, AI researchers, machine learning researchers getting hired at companies like OpenAI or uh, Meta for hundreds or thousands of crores of salary, right? So who are they? They are of course mathematicians, okay? They pursued many of them in their bachelor's or master's mathematics. Then they uh, went on to do their research in uh, artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science. And uh, nowadays, as the AI is booming, their efforts are being paid, right? In huge returns, okay? So you never know. And the people five years back, they might have been told by the society, what will you do? You will end up becoming a teacher. And now they're earning in hundreds and thousands of crores of rupees and dollars. So never underestimate any career choice, especially mathematics, now that you know that uh, there is so much weight, so much of responsibilities and uh, intellectual recognition that is being put on mathematicians, right? So uh, based on that, this is the recruitment profile for uh, placements of 2025 this year from CMI. The recruiters, as you can see, of course, the courses include uh, data science, uh, computer science, so on and so forth, physics, mathematics, BS, uh, MS as well. The recruiters are American Express, IDFC, PayPal, JP Morgan Chase, Barclays, Micron, Lyric, Standard, Wells Fargo, right? The CDC statistics are uh, the mean salary is 18.3 lakh, the median is 18.5 lakhs, which means that typically most of the people are going to stay around 20, 30 lakhs of rupees. Some of them, of course, 15, 10 lakhs rupees as well. But this is the data and the roles offered are of data science, analytics associate, analyst, ML engineer, machine learning engineer, risk analyst. This is uh, a finance description, data engineer as well, right? The company profiles, as you can see, are from FinTech, tech consulting, investment banking is um, a very lucrative job, right? They're going to make millions of dollars. Um, they have the potential opportunities to do so in the next five, 10, 15 years. You have uh, banking, manufacturing, logistics, so on, so forth. Isn't it amazing, guys? If you feel that these companies are some of the most reputed, yet fascinating companies to work for across the world, then uh, let me know in the comment which of these companies would you want to work for if given the opportunity in any of these roles with any of these salaries, right? Next up is the summary is you have a lot of free time to figure out what do you actually want and what are you good at in college, right? So that is the key to try out different things, find out what works best for you, what are you the best capable of and where can you produce most meaningful and impactful work. And after that, you have the freedom of choosing what you want to do once you have explored your option, right? So you explore multiple options, you try, you um, make mistakes, you error in lots of them, then you come up with the best one and then you fixate it. Then you work towards it, you get uh, good career options in that. And uh, as an expert, you will be respected, you will be valued throughout the world for your knowledge, contributions and your impact, right? Um, in the coming time. So let's get rid of the taboo that after pursuing a math degree, you won't have a lot of options. So I just told you in terms of uh, money, reputation, stakes, uh, there is, you know, huge opportunity, humongous opportunities and um, scope that you're going to get as a mathematician, especially if you're able to transition yourself in any kind of uh, environment or exposure where you can produce some impactful, meaningful, applicable work, 
in your let's say masters phd or after that by the way if you also want to pursue mathematics you're passionate about it so far or if you're in class 11th 12th or a dropper and looking for guidance to get into top colleges that i just discussed so far about isi kolkata cmi chennai then we have something for you so we have launched isi and cmi 2026 arya bhatta batch where you will be having self paced lectures by ISI CMI mentors so that if you are enrolled at any other place for your guidance and studies, you will have no issues in uh, studying from this course or this batch because the lectures will be self-paced and the mentors who have recorded it, they are alumni or alumnus from CMI and ISI, those institutes, uh, you know, itself. You will have live problem solving plus doubt discussion classes at least twice a week. So the lectures will be self-paced so that you can watch them and come back in the live uh, discussion and doubts classes and get your doubts and problems solved there with again the mentors from ISI and CMI itself. You will be delivered to your home the best ISI and CMI book which is this one. So this has all the relevant theory and the questions that you need to qualify the entrance examinations for ISI and CMI. So this will be delivered to your home, including this course, free of cost. Previous year questions with solutions and explanations will also be given. And you can also discuss with your doubt mentors in the live classes, special guidance. So as you know that ISI has UG A plus UG B. So special guidance will be given for UG B as well, right? And in this book also, we have special sections and uh, all the relevant theory and keys for the subjective part of your examination. Plus regular mock test, objective, subjective, UGA, UGB will keep happening. Uh, all the explanation solutions will be given. Another best part is that uh, you will be given access to the ISI CMI 2026 crash course that is worth rupees 3000 for free. That is included in this course inherently, which will happen next year once this batch is finished. So crash course typically starts from February or March and it goes on uh, the day till the day before the actual exam itself. Right. So how amazing is that, guys? You uh, are given self-paced lectures, live component is also there. So it's a semi-live course so that you can prepare as per your convenience, your schedule, your timetable. And uh, parallelly, you won't be facing issues because you will be connected with a live mentor at least twice, two times a week. Right. So if you are interested in uh, checking out this batch, the link is given in the description. Do check it out and let us know if you have any further queries or doubts. Now, if you have um, found this video useful so far, let me know in the comment which of these career options is your favorite. Is it investment banking? Is it analyst? Is it machine learning engineer? Is it AI researcher or anything else? Or if you uh, see yourself working at any of these companies that we have just discussed in this video, then let me know as well. We'll keep uh, checking each of your comments personally and reply to that. But I do hope that the myth that maths as a subject gives you very little scope of employment is now busted. And that's why we are here for, right? So if you think um, any of your friend needs to watch this video, then do share with them as well. And if you have liked this video so far, then put a subscribe to the channel because uh, you will get more such content. We'll be coming out more such career options related to different all subjects and uh, many other things. Like right? So with this, all the very best. See you in the next video. Mm -hmm.